Hi! I want to share some of the guided math resources with you as you are getting your year going and perhaps you're already well underway. But I feel like there's a lot of questions about what can I do for rotations and what options are available. So I want to share a look at how some different resources fit together in the guided math curriculum series. So first of all, I'm going to be sharing um, from first grade guided math, but these uh, resources are available for kinder first and second grade. Um, I also have third and fourth, but not quite as many of these resources are finished for those grades. However, um, many of them are. So whether you teach first grade or not, you can still find these resources available on Teachers by Teachers. So the first one that we're always going to start with is the, the guided math unit. And you do not have to teach these units in the same order that I have created them. They can be interchanged um, to meet your scope and sequence. So for this example though, I'm going to start at the beginning uh, with number sense. And this is going to be first grade. So what this resource gives you is your whole group lesson and your small group lesson with the activities needed and differentiation. Um, so inside, here's lesson 10. We've got our essential question, our objective. Here we'll find our whole group lesson, discussion questions, the materials which are included, the small group lesson, the differentiation, and behind you'll find any um, materials that you might need that are printable as well. And that just continues on and then at the end of the unit you will find a unit assessment. Now as you begin guided math, you're going to pair that with this free download. It's how to launch guided math. And in this free download, you will find all sorts of information on guided math, but about halfway through the resource, you will find lesson plans. And these are going to be day by day for 20 days to get you launched into doing rotations with your kiddos. So you'll see that here it's day four and these are clickable resources. So if you are looking for any of these resources, they are here in this guide. But if you don't need that, that's fine. You're still gonna be able to use the information from the step-by-step -step guide. So what I would do is I would teach the whole group portion from the guided math, and then I would go to the launch guide to practice my rotations. And it will take you through how to do that each day. In the back of this free resource, you will find each grade level has, whoops, I went right by it, has a resource page. So this is third grade, this is second grade, first grade, kinder. So for first grade, since that's what I'm gonna be sharing today, all of the resources that I'm gonna share with you, plus more, are linked here for you. So if you download this free guide and you click on any one of these, it will pull that resource up for you on Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, so just so you know, that's where these things are coming from, that's where to find them. And to get this free guide, you're gonna type in how to launch guided math and then Tunstall, my last name, and it will find this resource and you can download it for free. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I would do um, for my rotations is um, one of the things that's actually gonna come before rotations is going to be number chats. And this is something that you can do once a week, you can do every day, it's totally up to you, but um, a number chat is where you'll project your prompt on the board and then you will work it out with your students sharing not so much just an answer, but your mathematical thinking. So students would share the outcome, but they would share their thinking and how they got to that outcome. So as you put a prompt up on the board such as this, explain the pattern, what would come next. So a student would then share what would come next and then how they believe that that is true. And then the next student would say, I agree and this is how I thought about it or I disagree and this is how I thought about it. So they would share out their thinking um, just as much as sharing out the answer. 
All right, so for every concept in the Guided Math series, there is a set of member chats that will take you day by day. And that is true for all of the different grade levels as well. So um, if you don't want to start with number sense, if you want to start with measurement or time or graphing, whatever it might be, there's also going to be a number chat set on those concepts as well. Okay, so we've got our chat, we've done our whole group, we're practicing our small group, and here, the next resource is your typical math center. And I'm going to share from this particular resource, which is the Stations by Standard. So this is the number sense set, and inside there are 15 different number sense stations or um, math centers that students would do that work on number sense. These are just two examples from those, but there are 15 different ones. And for every single guided math unit, measurement, graphing, time, multiplication, whatever it might be, there's going to be a, a set like this of all of the games that you can use to supplement that rotation to support that math concept. All right, another rotation that is one of my core um, rotations in my class is going to be a math journal component. And with the math journal, it's going to look like this. You're going to explain the activity to the students, and then they are going to be putting it into their math journal throughout the entire year. And this math journal is my example one. And students, it's easy to just plop it down, put it under the document camera, and explain what's going to happen that day in the math journal. So when I give them the paper, they know then the format of how to glue it into their journal. It doesn't always have to be something that they glue in. Sometimes it can be something that they respond to from our lesson. But the math journal is an everyday component in my guided math rotations. Another rotation is going to be the application station. And I use different printables, they're called practice pages in my store, that support, again, the, the concept. So this these come from the Number Sense Number Patterns Pack for first grade. And um, again, if, if you're choosing a different concept like addition or subtraction, then there's going to be practice pages that support and supplement that as well. Um, another rotation that we have is our technology rotation. And I just put on the tech tasks for number sense. I just chose one of the games. And a recording sheet will go along with these games. And students will simply look at the number bond in this particular game. And so on their recording sheet where the box for A is, they would fill in that missing number. So they would have some sort of manipulative and they would get count out 10 and then move 9 over to reveal the 1 that they would also need. Or you could have a number bond bracelet or however you teach that in your class. So these are called tech tasks and then students just simply swipe to get the next um, problem that they're going to fill out. So there are different tech tasks games and again, those are going to complement the guided math concept that I'm studying. All right, and then I just want to share some supplemental resources that I also have that have been developed this summer that maybe you're not aware of. One of them is the guided math home connection. So this is something you can send home that fully supports this teaching as well. So the first one you send home is the all about our guided math classroom. It just explains to parents what that looks like, what it means, and then each different unit of guided math has its own page that goes home for parents. So it tells them what the concept is all about, ways to support number sense at home, and then the vocabulary that we're going to be learning in class through these lessons. Then in class, I also have those same vocabulary words, and I'm going to be using those and putting them either on a math word wall or up displayed as we're learning about them or also in my small group lessons. So every single unit for every grade level K1 and 2 has um, these vocabulary words as well. 
Another thing that I'm going to be using that is new this summer is um, I'm going to have a math focus. So if, for each one of our different concepts, we're going to have a math focus that explains what the concept is. Again, this is something that the parents get as well. So it's all going to go together and there's different ones throughout the year but I'm going to use that kind of as my over general vocabulary and explanation whether it's on an objective wall or a word wall or in my small group just to explain the concept being studied and the final resource that I want to share with you excuse me is um, something to be um, used in your small group teaching so we always talk about math strategies and getting students to um, use strategies when they're thinking. And we do this wonderfully for reading, but a lot of times we don't think about it for math. So the math methods cards are going to help you teach those different math strategies and name them. So boys and girls, today we're gonna to be using the build it strategy. And we will be solving with snap cubes and we will be building our equations. Or boys and girls, today we're going to be using the count on strategy. We will go to the higher number, put it in our brain, and count on. So we're going to model and name those different strategies and tools, and then we're going to teach them to our kiddos. And these are going to be visual representations of those different strategies that we use to solve. And there's 40 different math strategies cards in this um, math methods pack. All right, I hope that sheds some light on how the Get Math series works, what some of your rotation options are, but most importantly, just getting yourself launched in guided math. If you need this, whether you're using this curriculum or perhaps an adopted curriculum with your school, this launch guide can help you know how to introduce those different stations, how to get your kiddos going, um, how to set those expectations. And inside you'll find things like free games that you're going to use to model um, as you go through. So it's really going to kind of support you as you teach those different stations. All right, I hope this has been helpful and I will talk to you soon.